Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how I created this animation right here. So let's hit play and there you go. Look at this, super cool and super easy to do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to close this document. I'm going to file, new, and I want a 1920 by 1080. So it's a white screen at 72 dpi. I'll create that and now I just fill it 50% gray. So the first thing, obviously, I need to do is write the text. So Miguel and push. But let's change the color so I can see what I'm doing. So Miguel Campus, there we go. And I'm going to write it down again, Miguel Campus. And I, I'm going to write it down again. Push. Yeah, so I've got, I repeated Miguel Campus three times. So I'm going to do is I'm going just to align this and actually align pretty good. Okay then, cool. So next stage, text tool and Photoshop tutorials. Photoshop tutorials. Photoshop tutorials. Accept the changes. So let's see. There you go. Oh. Mm. Photoshop tutorials. There you go. Cool. That's very nice. So uh, now let's align this. Let's see if I can see. Photoshop tutorials as it should. Well, as you can see, I've got Photoshop tutorials in Photoshop. This will do the trick. This will do the trick. So now what I need to do is I need just to come here and select Miguel Campos. I'm going to put it on the top. And what I want to do is just scroll it to the end. So something like so. Yeah, something like this. And now I'll just bring it up just a touch. Cool. So now Miguel Campos. Control J, so I duplicate that layer and holding shift I'm just going to drag it down like so. So now I'm going to Photoshop Tutorials, Control J or Command J on the Mac and just bring it down. And you see when I'm dragging it gives me the measurement, so 1.73 1 1 centimeters. So it's very good to, to have that. So now I'm going to duplicate Miguel Campus again. So holding shift I'll bring it down like so. And Photoshop again and just oops let's duplicate that layer holding shift and bring it down and as you can see it's not filled all the way down so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cheat so selecting all of those layers I'm going to hit Control T or command T I'm just going to stretch them just a bit so it looks a bit better now there you go cool so now let's open the timeline. So under window, you find timeline right here and opens. And now I want to do create video timeline. And as you can see, I'm just going to zoom out a bit more so we can see all of these layers. This is too complicated to go like one layer at a time. So what I want to do is, as you can see right here, I've got Photoshop tutorials, name of the layers. So what I'm going to do is select Photoshop Tutorials, holding Ctrl or Command on the Mac, click that one and that one, right click, Convert Smart Object. And I'm going to do exactly the same with Miguel Campos text. So Convert Smart Object. So this way it makes it a lot easier for me to do my thing. So opening these arrows down so I can get Transform Opacity Style. So with the Miguel Campos layer selected, Smart Object in this case, what I want to do is I want to hit Transform right here. So I'm adding a keyframe to the beginning of the animation and with the Photoshop tutorials, exactly the same. So this is the beginning. So now let's go all the way down to the end of my timeline. So let's see, it goes all the way up till here, but I'm just going to make it a bit shorter. I'll just make it shorter so there you go so what I want to do is I want command or control T and this way as you can see I have this blue line so that means that I have text going outside the canvas so holding shift what I want to do is just bring it like so accept the changes and now Miguel Campos I'm going to move it the other way around 
So, something like so. There you go. Now, let's hit play because obviously when we apply the transform, add the new keyframes. So now all I have to do is hit play. It's not very smooth because you may see that right here it will be red, so it's like rendering. See, now it's red. But after it renders, it's super smooth. And as you can see, obviously it slowed down a bit more because it didn't go that far. Now all I have to do is file, uh, export, render video, and I can call it, leave the, the preferences as they are, just put the new name. So I'll put uh, scroll, scroll text animation, render. And now, depending on your machine, it may take a while or maybe faster. But it's ready to be published online or as an intro on your YouTube or Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. So let's go and open it, the animation. And as you can see, super smooth. How cool is this? That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you need anything, just let me know. Thanks. For watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.